Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please hear the disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Pigun. And I'm Dr. Yunan. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about Ozanimod. Ozanimod is available to treat adults with moderately to severe active ulcerative colitis who have failed the conventional therapy or other advanced therapy. Ozanimod is a type of medicine called a sphingosine one phosphate receptor modulator, or S1P blocker. Ozanimod attaches to a protein on the surface of some white blood cells, namely lymphocytes. Ozanimod reduces lymphocyte movement into circulation and thus reduces inflammation in the gut. This reduces the symptoms of colitis. Ozanimod is a small molecule drug, which means that it's less likely to stop working over time compared to biologic medications. This is because your own immune system can recognize larger molecules like biologics and develop a reaction to them which decreases their effectiveness over time. If Ozanimod works for you, you will be usually seeing the improvement within eight weeks. But some people may find that they begin to feel better as soon as two days after starting the treatment, and others require longer treatment to have a response. Ozanimod is a tablet that is usually taken once a day. The treatment packs start at a low-dose tablet, which increases to full strength over the first week. If you miss more than one dose during the first two weeks of treatment, you may need to restart the starter dose pack. Contact your IBD team if this happens. If the treatment works, you will continue once a day maintenance therapy. Try to take your tablet at a similar time every day. You can take it with or without food. Like all drugs, Ozanimod can have unwanted side effects, although not everyone will get them. Some side effects may be quite mild and go away on its own. Any medication can cause allergic reactions such as rash or difficulty breathing or swallowing. Because Ozanimod affects the way your immune system works, by decreasing the number of circulating white blood cells, you may be more likely to get infection. Even a mild infection such as cold or sore throat could develop into a more serious illness. To reduce the risk, have the annual flu vaccination and try to avoid close contact with the people who have infections. Your treatment team can recommend you to briefly sit in the medication when you get this infection. Ozanimod may increase the risk of skin cancer. You should protect your skin from the sun by wearing protective clothing and applying sunscreen regularly and staying in the shade can protect your skin. While on Ozanimod, the IBD team will be monitoring your blood tests regularly, looking for any abnormalities of the blood counts or the liver tests. Generally, this is done every three months. In addition, because some patients can have a reaction to the Ozanimod with respect to their heart rate, a baseline ECG is required before you start the medication and if you have any cardiac symptoms while on the medication. In some high-risk patients, there may be a concern about eye complaints, and if you have any eye symptoms, tell your IBD team because they may recommend a specific type of eye exam. It is not safe to have a live vaccine when you're taking this medication. Live vaccines contain viruses that have been weakened but not destroyed, and when taking medications that dampen the immune system, these weakened viruses can cause actual infection. However, we encourage people to have inactive vaccines such as annual flu vaccination. In the setting of the COVID pandemic, we also encourage people to have COVID vaccination according to the recommendations. You should not take Ozanimod if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Ozanimod can't be taken in pregnancy because of the risk of damage to the developing baby. Use effective contraception whilst taking this medicine and for three months after you stop this medication, then you can fall pregnant. If you do become pregnant while on this medication, you should stop the medication and discuss it with the treating team immediately. It's not yet known whether Ozanimod is present in a breast milk, so as a precaution, you should avoid breastfeeding. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. Thank you.